hello friends welcome to the, my youtube channel in this video i will show you how to use qt gradient effect in our application today i will show you how to apply qt linear gradient effect in our qt controls or qt gi controls so let's simply add q label control to apply the gradient effect okay now we have to add one cpp and header file to override the paint event of q label control so simply add the required header file qt4 qt gui gui and qt widget Inherit it with QLabel control. Implement paint event method. Okay, now add the definition in CPP file. So class is ready. Now we have to prompt this class with our QLabel control. Prompt to simply add, select, and prompt. Okay, now let's write the code here to of like qt gradient effect q painter painter we have to here pass the coordinates of our linear gradient effect so just simply i Pass the all label control and second point is viewers and height. Okay, now just simply we have to define the area where and our linear gradient this line where we define our area where we want to display the linear effect and we just set the our linear gradient effect on our label control so i just call use wall label control size to display this linear gradient now let's set the colors on gradient effect set color at we have to write the color name here so just simply i has white color and second color is black color Note down uh, color ranges between 0 or 1. You cannot set the outside of this range any color. So let's see the effect.
you can see the between white color and black color all are the interpolated color are displayed in label control you can also add the some other colors between on that so let's add red color then green color and let's add one more color blue so divide in the model you can see the gradient effect also you can adjust color okay so by use of q linear gradient class you can set linear effect on your control you just have to override the paint event method of that control let's add one more color red shine yellow magenta dark green dark red and dark yellow you can set any color as per your need now let's run the application and see the effect you can see the effect of the linear gradient also you can set the size of any color as for your need or also you can change the color sequence as for your need and you can create your own custom linear gradient by use of these methods so please drop your comment if you have any question and thanks for watching my video please like the my video and subscribe to my youtube channel and share with your friends thank you